Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss about cell plating, cell expansion plan, and its numbering. So the function of cell plating, so it acts as a watertight skin, and it gives longitudinal strength to the ship to resist bending stress and the shear stress. So this is a picture of cell plating. Now let's see the components of cell plating. The first is the bottom cell plating, and the second is the side cell plating. Bottom cell plating is from keel to the turn of the bilge, and the greatest thickness is at the turn of the bilge because the maximum bending stress is there. The side cell plating is the vertical plating from upper turn of the bilge to the weather deck. The keel plating is also known as what keel strike, and uh, the strike. Beside the keel plating, or you can say keel strike, is known as garboard strike. The uppermost strike of the side cell plating is the shear strike. It has greatest thickness than the other strikes of the side cell plating. Why? Due to its distance from neutral axis. So in this picture, you can see the shear strike. Now let's see some important points about uh, cell plating. So the cell plating must be stiffened by the internal members to prevent deformation. The cell plating constitutes about 25% of the total hull weight. And the, now let's see the joints of cell plating. So the longitudinal welding joints between the strikes are called seams. And the transverse joints within the strikes are called butts. So seams and butts. So now let's see the thickness variation in the cell plating. So it is generally uniform in thickness along 40% of its length forward and aft of the amidships. But it tapers towards the forward and the aft ends except in the areas which is subject to pounding and slamming stress. So thicker plates may be used in the areas which is subject to heavy stresses as we have discussed earlier such as stern frames attachments, spectacle bossings hose pipes with heavy insert plates or doubler plates. Now let's see the attachments on the cell plates. So we have sea chest, the discharge openings, the bilge keel, we have skeg, the eco sounder and other navigational equipments. In this picture you can see the sea chest. Now let's discuss about cell expansion plan and numbering of plates. So the cell expansion drawing is created for each ship to identify individual strikes of cell plating and their sizes and thickness. The drawing is constructed by girthing the body plan, expanding it vertically in the profile view. So in this picture you can see this is the cell expansion plan. Now see the, we'll see the numbering of strikes. So it starts from the keel strike that is K. Next strike is the garboard strike that is A followed by B, C, D etc. Outwards and upwards. So numbering increases towards the forward end. Example K1, K2, K3 as you can see in this picture that is K1, K2, K3. So this much is important from this topic and hope you have liked it.